Welcome to Cooking with Frankie Meeple. I am here with Talina, the pizza lady, and this is Pizza Madness. Hey, I'm Kevin. And I'm Johnny E. from Philly Rock Radio. And you're about to get cooking with, with Frankie, Frankie Meeple. Meeple. I'm Frankie Meeple with the YouTube cooking show. I'm Frankie Meeple on the cooking show with you. I'm Frankie Meeple every Wednesday in the show. I said it, you heard it, it is fun. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming over. I appreciate so, it. You are the pizza lady. I am the pizza lady. This is the pizza lady. What makes you the pizza lady? Well, right now I've collected over 669 items, pizza-related items, that get us approved. So wow. I am the world record holder, which is very exciting. Now, are you are you in Guinness Book of World Records? Well, not yet, because not yet. I already yes, because I already uh, so <laughs> published. No, no, no. No, they published in 2023, so I got approved in 2022. Okay. But the book for 2023 was already published. I'm on the website that nice. you are the Guinness World Record holder. Nice. So yeah, but it's all about the book. What got you started? Well, besides the love for Ben, by the way. I mean, I don't know about pizza. <laughs> Who doesn't love pizza? <laughs> well. I started collecting items and then I had a dress and I'd go out as a pizza girl in Jersey. People liked that. And then I went to California, I had a dress, then I had a hat. And people always liked that. And I was like, this is kind of fun being the pizza girl. <laughs> so I started buying more items and, you know, earrings and necklaces and, you know, you get sofas. Sofas. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, so it was fun. And then during the pandemic, I was pregnant and I couldn't go anywhere and I worked from home and I was like, oh, I wonder how many... Door shopping, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> how many items the uh, Guinness Book of World Record right. holder has. And it was 561. And I was like, I can beat that. I can beat that. So this was my pizza pregnancy pandemic project. So the Pizza Palooza, we had pizza themed games and uh, tons of pizza. And I was going to ask you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so it, it was a free event, but all you had to do was bring a pizza item. And it was during the pandemic, so only Kenilworth people could come. So I actually thank the people of Kenilworth, New Jersey, for helping me win this world record. So everyone brought a pizza item. Now, oh, cool. to get a Guinness Book of World Records is not easy. So, because um, it has to be commercially available. And then you have to upload every single picture of every single thing you have and on a spreadsheet. And you did all this. I did all this. It's a lot of time. During the pandemic, of course. Sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, we had a lot of pizza. Right, yeah, so, I and mean, then that's what happened. And now I've just had this love for pizza. And, you know. What's your little uh, pizza around your neck? That's so, this nice. is fun. So, this is a swagger train from Spin Swagger Trains. And I had posted that I was doing it. Bling bling, right? I got my bling bling. <laughs> very Jersey. So. I love pizza items. It drives my husband crazy. <laughs> you come inside. With two will, you will see our dining room, our living room. It's all pizza because pizza is fun. And so, my philosophy is it's the one, you know, food that everybody loves all around the world. I mean, who doesn't like pizza? You could do a hundred million things with pizza. Yeah, and I just, I just feel like it brings joy. So like, let's you know, turn the garage into a pizza museum and have nice. pizza parties and just, just have fun. Well, I know all about the pizza parties. That's my friends. Yeah. <laughs> I make the pizza. They bring the beer. There you go. There you go. It's perfect. So, what is your favorite uh, pizza item? So, now we'll go. So basically, this little wall is. Uh, something that I can uh, show to lots of people. It's easy to take down, but these are some of my favorite pizza items. So one pizza look, this is from Puckered Up Paper Lips. A Canadian artist uh, did these lips for me and I just love them because they're just so much fun. Um, the cat spitting a pizza, you know, you can't go wrong with that. I was on this show, another YouTube show, um, uh, and one of the creators made a pizza sticker out of me and a pizza poster, which is fun. Um, what else do I like? Uh, this, oh, pizza box. This is from Italy. Love this one. And then some of my favorite items are all the pizza books I have. And I have over 230 books just on pizza. All my pizza clothes, so I have my pizza rack, so whenever I need to choose an outfit, I come here and I say, oh, am I doing corporate? Am I doing fun? 
silly, just, you know, a day in the life of pizza. This, I really like this doll, Francesca, the pizza doll. Uh, my daughter's name is Francesca, and I happen to find a pizza doll that's Francesca. Um, we have pizza twist, super fun, pizza sprinkler, and a pizza themed date night box. How cool is this? A pizza sleeping bag. But to go with a pizza sleeping bag, if you want to look your very best, you have got to have a pizza eyeshadow makeup palette with pizza colors. And to go with your coffee, friends, pizza mug. And now we have lots of pizza socks. Tons of pizza socks, pizza purse, uh, more pizza movies, pizza pandemic, pizza ornaments. So we have all these little fun chotskis and some of them have been sent to me from little boutiques all around the United States, which I really like. So who doesn't want a piece of themed Christmas tree in the garage all year round? Wow, that is an impressive collection. I'm sure these guys are getting hungry with all this pizza stuff around. I'm hungry. You want to make some pizza pot pie? Yes, I do. Let's go cooking. Oh, Wait. let me grab my pizza apron. We'll be right back. Let me tell you, I am still baffled by your collection. I got to admit, I do feel sorry for your husband. Sorry. <laughs> But we're going to make some food that he's yes. really going to appreciate. So, show me. So we're going to do pizza pot pie. Here I got my homemade dough. And you can catch the video. It will be at the end of this video, how to make the Frankie meatball dough. You want to get yourself a pan. And we're going to just put some butter in there. Real good, because we're going to put the cheese in there. And we don't want the cheese to stick. Did you ever have a pizza pot pie? I've never had a pizza pot pie. Me neither. What better day to make it when you visit the pizza lady? Of course. So, so you got your pan buttered. I'm using sliced mozzarella and provolone. Just line your pan like so. Make sure you get it up on the sides. You're going to put tons of cheese. It's going to have tons of cheese. But this looks good. So you just line everything up. I mean, this is very simple, easy to do fun with the kids, mm -hmm. you know, you have fun with the kids. So. Now, did you make pizza at home with your parents when you were a child? No, we, actually, this is really sad, um, but fun. I loved pizza so much, my whole family loved pizza so much that we would give pizza delivery man um, presents at Christmas because oh, nice. that's how much we got to know pizza delivery men. <laughs> but, um, so that says a lot. You know, we never made our own pizza, but I appreciate people who can make their own pizza. Oh, this looks nice. So you're really putting... So you want to layer with the mozz? Yes. And then some provolone. Or you could do a piece of this, piece of that, piece of this. But layer it like, a, like the pie dough. Okay? So then you want to get some pepperoni. Perfect. Just rip it up, throw it in there. Uh, spinach and, and pepperonis is one well, of my favorite Well, I thought the spinach should be good because spinach is always healthy, so why not throw it in? Yeah, throw it in there. The spinach is always good. Even Popeye likes spinach. Mm. Now you throw everything in there. You get your sauce. Like I said, this is one, two, three, easy peasy. You get your sauce. Your favorite sauce. Just dump it in there a little bit. Now this is where when you get dirty, you're just gonna mix it up. Let that sauce get mixed all and everything. Get it all mixed up real nice. That looks nice, right? This right here is fresh, the fresher the better. So we're just gonna lay that on top like a pie. And then we'll just kind of scrunch it up on the sides so it doesn't fall and burn. This is actually not that hard to make. Not at so all. So it's like an easy meal, which is going to be you, you, aesthetically you, pleasing to anyone who comes. And if you don't make your own dough, you could go to your favorite pizza place, buy some dough. Or, buy some dough. Or at the supermarket. But I suggest go to the pizza places. They got better dough. The oven's at 500. Now we're going to throw this pie, pot pie, 
Don't get excited when I say pot, but we're gonna throw this pot pie in the oven. Want to do the Amish? Yes! So excited. Mmm, it's gonna be delicious. It's done. A little smoke in there. <gasps> wow! So what we got here? Woo! Nice and hot. Look at that. All right. And here it looks good. Let's uh, let's cut her open and see what we got. Yes. Ooh. I'm sure it should be great. Would you care for the first slice? Yes, please, thank you. So usually you'll just dig into the pizza pot pie. You wanna make it in smaller ones and eat it just like a, a pot pie with an over top, but I figured I'd uh, share it. So we're gonna take it out. I'm gonna flip it over like that. We're gonna get some cheese. That's perfect. Oh, look at that cheese. Look at that cheese, huh? If I was to do this again, I would get the little pie pans and make small individuals. That, makes that would be very nice. So I recommend that. So let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Mm. Gotta get the whole thing. Get a little bit of cheese, a little bit of dough. The dip. You know what? I, I'm not good with forks. I think I'm not either, so I'm using my hands too. Mmm. So that is good. That is really good. Mm. Ooh. Especially with your famous dough. Mmm. What do you think? Good? It's good. It's a test or what? A pass and test. This is great. You would do this at holding me. Healthy, not healthy. This is perfect. Dogs will love it. So, with that being said, if you like what you saw, hit like and subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. And don't forget to follow my guys, PhillyRockRadio.com. Everything from the full father, he's a bad mother to buy. And with that being said, I gotta go eat more of this. What do you say? Let's eat more! Should we tell them? Yes! Until next time! Woo! Ave Frankie Meek.